What is going on guys? My name is Brent and welcome to part 5 of my tutorial series on how to create the game Flappy Birds. So in this tutorial we'll be uh, creating a new bird class and using that class to set the position of our bird texture on the screen, allowing it to jump up and down. So let's go ahead and create a new package and call it sprites. And inside of our sprites package we'll create a new Java class called bird. So what does our bird class actually need? First off, it needs a position, okay? It needs to know where the bird is in our game world. Um, and then it needs to have a texture, what uh, it needs to be drawn to the screen. And also it needs to have a velocity. In which direction is it going? Is it going up, down, left, right? Where in our game world uh, is it going? So let's go ahead and create those now. We'll create a new private vector, vector three um, position. Uh, vector 3 holds an X, Y, and Z axes. Um, since we're only in a two-dimensional world, we'll only be using the X and Y. There are vector 2s, but I'm going to use vector 3. Um, private vector 3 of velocity. And then um, private texture. Um, and we'll just call that bird. And then let's create our constructor. So uh, public bird and it'll take in an int x and int y for our starting positions. So let's go ahead and set up our variables here. Um, position equals new vector 3 and we can give it our starting uh, coordinates so x, y and 0 for the z axis since we're not using that and velocity equals new vector 3 uh, and we'll give it all zeros um, because we're just starting it, not moving. Let's create our um, texture here. So our bird equals new texture. And it will be bird.png like we previously did. Let's next create a new method called update, which will send the delta time to our bird class and allow it to do the maths that will reset its position in our game world. So um, public void update, and it will take in a float delta time. So in Flappy Birds, you know that if you don't fly, you fall. And so that is a representation of gravity. In our world, we need to have some sort of representation of gravity. So let's go ahead and create uh, gravity on our bird only, since that's the only thing that's going to need it. So um, we'll create a private static final int gravity. And we'll set gravity to equal negative uh, 15, okay? And you'll just have to trust me on that for now. So every time our bird is updated, we want to add gravity to its velocity, okay? So velocity.add, we're not adding anything to the x-axis, we're just adding gravity to the y-axis and nothing to the z-axis. Now because uh, we're doing this in relation to a change in time, we need to scale the velocity by uh, its change in time. Uh, so velocity dot scale, SCL, and then we can do by delta time. So it's going to multiply everything uh, by a delta time. Now we need to set our position. So position dot add. Um, and that will be, uh, we're not going to add anything to x yet. Um, and then it'll be velocity dot y will add and then zero in the z axis. And then next what we'll do is we'll do velocity dot scale um, one, oops, one over delta time. So it reverses what we scaled previously. So we just wanted to add this scaled version of velocity to our position and then uh, turn it back so it can be added again uh, on the next frame. So let's go ahead and get, uh, generate some getters so we can get some information back to our play state. So we'll go ahead and generate some getters and we'll, we just need the position and the texture. So those will create there. So let's head back to our states and our play state here. We'll go ahead and remove the bird texture here. We'll create a new uh, private uh, bird and call it bird, I guess. Um, and then bird will be 
equal to new bird and we'll give it an x and y coordinate so let's just start it at 50 50 i guess so let's start it at um 50 100 inside of our update method we'll do handle input first that should typically always be first even though we're not handling anything yet and then we'll do bird dot update we got to update our bird with our change in delta time so I want to show you that I refactored get bird to get texture and then inside of our play state uh, we're going to do um, bird dot get texture and then bird dot get position dot x and then bird dot get position dot y so let's go ahead and hit run up here we'll get the menu state first and bang he just fell off the screen really quick uh, so let's go ahead and change this to i don't know uh two or three hundred let's see what happens there um and you can see him fall down the screen. So I think we'll go ahead and call it there for this video. I've gone ahead and reached my time limit. Uh, we learned how to create the bird class and set a position and velocity. And of course we ran it and we saw a bird actually move on the screen. So we're making good progress. In the next video, we'll go ahead and learn how to uh, set a um, libgdx to watch for clicks on the screen uh, so we can jump our bird up and down. I hope you guys are enjoying this tutorial series. I know I'm enjoying teaching it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, go ahead and post them below. I'm pretty good about getting back to everybody. If you like the video, like the series, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon page. I give you two big thumbs up for that. Uh, I will catch you guys next time, and thanks for watching.